compassionate. Um, she had been in mourning ever since her husband had died. It, she wore black. From she wore black. You know, the image we all have of Queen Victoria is black, black bonnet, black, uh, lots of diamonds, lots of bling, but very, very black, you know, just in mourning, constant mourning. Uh, after, after her husband died, she was brought out in isolation by, um, many of you may have seen this film called Mrs. Brown. It's about John Brown. He was a Scottish ghillie, and um, that is a Scottish uh, sort of, somebody who looks up the horses and is a servant. And she got very, very close to him. So that caused a huge Ferrari. So Abdul Karim, everyone started saying, oh, here we go. He's filling John Brown's shoes, actually. Now, John Brown dies, and the Queen is devastated again. She's she, she writes that she can't even stand, she can't walk, and she's in this lonely phase. And then four years later, along comes Abdul, dressed in his turban, and his everything, all his finery, with all his stories. Exotic. And he just sweeps her away. He's, she's swept into this Indian wonderland, and she lives her dream of being Empress of India. She's entertaining all the Indian um, no, uh, kings who come to Osborne House. She builds a whole Indian room. It's called the Darbar Hall. Uh, the pictures are in the book. And it's done entirely like an Indian with Indian carvings, Indian lattice work. It's like a mixture of Hindu Muslim architecture. And this was her banqueting room. So she would sit here in you know, all her finery, Indian servants standing behind her, greeting these uh, nobility, talking to them in Urdu, and um, is serving curries. <laughs> <laughs> She, she, she was in her 70s, uh, he was in his 20s, um, they were together for, I don't know, how many they years? They were together 13 years. 13. Mm -hmm. um, was there any ever uh, rumors or suspicion or about anything physical? Well, they used to, she used to take him away to this uh, remote cottage in the, in the Scottish Highlands. It was called the Widow's Cottage and so there was a lot of gossip. She used to go there with John Brown. And after John Brown's death, she had said she would not go there again, ever. And of course, the, all the, I mean, how do we know all this? Because the household write about it. And uh, it's this long-suffering doctor, he writes very sarcastically, that um, she has gone and taken Abdul with her. She's gone to Glass al -Shil, uh, and she had sworn she would not go there. So, we, but, you know, my own hunches, it was a very, very um, layered relationship. At, at one stage, she was mother to him. She writes, your loving mother, in letters. In other times, she writes, your loving friend, your closest friend. And she gave him instructions on how he and his wife could <laughs> better their chances of having a child. They were having trouble. We were and, having and, and she gave him sex advice. <laughs> exactly. I call it the Victorian manual. Uh, <laughs> and it's so detailed. Uh, it's amazing that you know this is Queen Victoria, who we think of as so prudish. And here she is completely frank, and she's writing to this servant from Agra, and she's close enough to discuss all this, you know, very frankly with him. 